in this lecture we would calculate elongation of axially loaded members first of all we'll take the most simplest case a bar of uniform cross section so if we have a bar of uniform cross section a and we have loads p applied to it its ends will have stress equal to p by a will have strain equal to change in length delta l divided by the original length if we have length l so we know that stress by strain is modulus of elasticity or young's modulus so by substituting the values of stress and strain in this expression we will have p by a divided by delta l by l which is equal to e by rearranging we can get the value of delta l which is nothing but the elongation in the bar due to a load p which comes out to be pl by a e this expression is important for calculating elongation for different kinds of bars so now we'll take the next example the second example that we are going to take is circular tapered bar subjected to an axial pull okay so now now we have a tapered bar it has circular cross sectional area diameter at one end is d1 and the diameter at the other end is d2 the length of the bar is l and there is an axial pull applied to it equal to p equal to p the diameter here is d2 so to calculate elongation over the length of a circular tapered bar we would take an elemental length at a distance x and this elemental bar will have a thickness dx as this as this elemental bar has very less change in diameter from this point to this point so we can assume it as a bar of a uniform cross sectional area so if we want to calculate the elongation for this bar only for this small shaded elemental area we would have elongation over small length dx we derived an expression for an elemental for a bar of uniform cross section area earlier which was equal to pl by ae so for this bar of 
very small area we will have elongation P is this load which is same in this case also length here is DX DX is the length of this small bar and area we'll see what area is area of this bar is and modulus of elasticity now this area we need to calculate this area how would we calculate this area let's see we have d1 diameter at this end we have d2 diameter at this end what would be the diameter at distance x from this end as the diameter is decreasing let's assume this as d so d will be equal to d1 and there is a reduction in diameter so we will reduce this diameter now what is reduction like from d1 it's reducing to d2 over a length l so for a unit length the reduction will be equal to d1 minus d2 divided by l and for length x it will be multiplied by this factor x so you've got it now this is the change per unit length and for length x it will be multiplied by x so this this total term is the change over the length x so this change has to be reduced from d1 so we'll get this diameter d now this term d1 minus d2 by l is constant so let me assume this as gamma now the diameter of this bar will be equal to d1 minus gamma x so the area of this small bar will be a this area a will be equal to pi by 4 d1 minus gamma x whole square okay uh, let me erase this okay so now we have the expression this will be p dx and area will be pi d1 minus gamma x whole square multiplied by e this 4 will go in the numerator so this is your expression for elongation over small length dx now if you have to calculate the total elongation for the bar you have to integrate it from 0 to L okay so elongation elongation over the length let me mark this as a b over the length a b this will be equal to integration over the length 4 p dx pi d1 minus gamma x whole square e let me raise this also let's move over now the elongation delta L over the length AB will be equal to 0 to L 4 P DX pi D1 minus gamma X whole square E and mind that gamma is equal to D1 minus D2 divided by L now P and E and pi are constant so we'll take this outside 4 P by pi E and we'll integrate the remaining terms from 0 to L dx d1 minus gamma x whole square so 
so integration will turn out like this 4p by pi i pi and this will be 1 over d1 minus gamma x and there will be minus 1 by gamma and this will be integrated over 0 to L this 4p pi e now this gamma will also be outside as it is a constant d1 minus d2 by L d1 minus d2 L will go in the numerator and the remaining term will be 1 by d1 minus gamma x from 0 to L. Now 4 p L pi e d1 minus d2 and this will be 1 minus d1 minus gamma L minus 1 by d1 okay and we'll take this expression above this is your delta l now delta l is equal to 4 p l pi e d1 minus d2 this will be d1 multiplied by d1 minus gamma l this is d1 minus d1 plus gamma l this will get cancelled out now this gamma is equal to d1 minus d2 by l okay here it is d1 minus d2 by l multiplied by l this l will get cancelled out and also this d1 minus d2 will also get cancelled out this will be 4 pl pi e multiplied by 1 over d1 d1 minus d1 minus d2 by L into L this L will get cancelled out again and this will be 4 PL pi E multiplied by 1 by D1 this D1 and D1 will get cancelled out and this D2 will turn to positive and this will be 1 by D2 so for so the elongation of a circular tapered bar will be equal to delta L is equal to 4 P L pi E D1 D2 so this is how you calculate elongation in actually loaded members in the next lecture we would calculate elongation of a square tapered bar subjected to an axial pole. Till then, bye bye.